Hey, hi, and hello, Mad Ink Pyro here, coming at you once again. Uh, I want to address a couple things today. Um, I actually had a conversation with a very close friend of mine this morning, and she brought up some good points, and I just wanted to address them. Um, I wanted to, to say thank you to all my subscribers once again. Keep sharing the videos, please. Share them with everybody, whether I know them or not. If you think someone might like them, share them. I am going to get into some wild, more wild stuff as the, the this whole country gets settled out and figured out and all that stuff. Um, but I, I just wanted to say it's not just going to be me on a couch sitting and talking constantly. Although I know some of you like that. Some of you like my, my travel around videos and check this out videos. Um, which I am going to do that tonight. Um, I think I'm going fishing tonight. Or today, rather. Um, if I don't go today, I'll go tomorrow. Uh, just to get out of the house. I've been in my house now for six days. My kids have been in the house for six days. And we're all going kind of stir crazy. I, find I have a nice secluded spot where no one else goes fishing. And we can go down there. We can go fishing and not be around anybody. Still be safe. And get out of the house and let them run off some steam. Let me do some fishing because, well, let's face it, I'm a fishaholic. And I can just kind of chill. So we may be doing that this evening. We may be doing it tomorrow. I haven't quite decided. i got to look at the forecast. Anyway, there have been... Um, a, my friend asked me, um, you know, what, how I felt and, and what was going on and... And all that today. And I kind of wanted to share that with you guys too. The, um, I do feel a little different. Uh, you know, it's day 20. And I've been working at this pretty hard. Um, just altering the way I eat has done several things to me actually. One, it's helped me start to lose weight. Um, if you notice guys, um, people who do know me, I have a rather large ring that I wear. It's my wedding ring. Um, that I cannot find right now. That's cute, Will. Um, anyway, it's it's a nice ring. And that ring no longer fits my finger. Um, if I do that, it goes flying across the room. So I can no longer wear that ring. I'm going to have to get it sized down. But I'm going to wait until I lose all the weight that I'm going to lose. Um, so I can have it sized correctly and not have to do it three or four times. Uh, the, the, uh, swelling, a lot of the, uh, swelling and, uh, water weight has come off of me. I've been drinking a ton of water. I don't drink water. Everybody who knows me, I was a big no water fan. I was like, oh, you don't need water, drink tea, which is essentially water, but it's got flavor to it, you know. And I started drinking these flavored seltzer waters. Let me tell you, the one that I like the best, there's two brands. I like polar um, sparkling waters, and I like this stuff. It's called AHA, A-H-A, and, and they've got some phenomenal flavors in that stuff. And I was like, how do you flavor water with no sweetener? Well, they did it, and it's really good. Um, I also drink, um, when I get a soda craving, I have Zevia soda, which is a uh, stevia, I think it's stevia extract soda, which is phenomenal if you're... If you're doing the keto thing, if you're doing the low-carb, no-carb thing, I highly suggest it. Because it's just like drinking water. There's the, the They use the um, stevia leaf in it, and it's good stuff. Um, it, it's not harsh, it's not chemically tasting, and it's, you know, it's soda. It suffices that craving. I also drink, I've, I've been drinking Propel here lately, and this stuff's good too. But you got to watch how much of this you drink. This has electrolytes in it, so I'm trying not to, like, over-electrolyte myself. Um, other than that, that's that's what I drink. Um, so it's going good. And I, the first couple days that I started drinking water, I guess it, I was about four or five days into it. And I was, like, peeing nonstop, and I couldn't figure out why. I, and it was, like, every five minutes I was back in the bathroom. Oh, my God, I gotta pee. Oh, my God, I gotta pee. Oh, my God, I gotta pee. And here it was all the fluid and water coming off my body. 
I, I can move my joints and they don't hurt. I'm not swollen. Uh, you know, my fingers, they ached and, uh, you know, I draw. I'm, I'm an artist. That's one of my pieces. Um, and it's for sale. Uh, CC Designs is by William Etsy. You can go in there and get it. Um, I, I, I can sign it to you if you want me to. But anyway, the, um, you know, I draw and do art. So my hands would cramp up real bad after about an hour's worth of working. I've been working with my hands and I found that they're more agile than they've been and they don't ache and they're not swollen. That's kind of, that was kind of weird to me. Um, I don't, you know, my friend says that, that they've noticed, you know, several things like as far as my, my weight and stuff goes over the 20 day period and they put, put up one picture beside another picture and they can see the difference. I don't notice that kind of stuff because I'm, I'm me. I don't look at myself in the mirror all the time. I really don't watch my own videos. So, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll do it to go through them to make sure it's what I want. But that's it. I don't really pay attention to that stuff. If you guys see that kind of stuff, that's awesome. Let me know. Put it in the comments. Just, uh, you know. I've also found myself to be more cognitively aware, more cognitively thinking than I was. There's no brain fog. Um, I'm a lot more positive than I was. Uh, I'm a lot more patient than I was with with other people, especially my kids. Uh, and right now, believe me, they try my patience quite a bit. I've got three active boys, as you guys know, and there are times where I just want to choke them. And then there's, uh, you know, but here, as of late, in the past, like, ten days, I've been a lot more mild with them. And I've been able to control myself more. And think of what I'm doing before I do it, which is a big difference for me. Um, my clothes are starting to get a little looser. This shirt on my stomach here was so was tight before I put it on today, and I, and now I can like pull it, and it's loose. So I mean, it's not loose, loose, but it's it's looser than it was, um, which is really cool. I'm I'm hoping I'm having the same results is what Amy gets. Um, when she first started losing weight, you couldn't really tell, and then all of a sudden, wham, there it went. I, and I was buying clothes for her every other week. And so she's like, I need new pants, I need new pants, I need new pants, I need new pants. How many pairs of pants you going through? And here they were just getting too big. So uh, that's a really cool, cool effect that she had, and I'm hoping I get something similar. Um... There's there's other things, too, like the way you eat. I, at first, I was dreading how I ate um, it, because I was focusing on what I couldn't have opposed to what I could have. And now that I've gotten over that fact, now I find out that I can have something that I didn't think I was going to be able to have. Last night, we decided to have hot dogs, and I, I, I love hot dogs. I'm a huge Coney Island fan. Shout out to all my New Yorkers. Um, you know, the Coney dogs, man, there's nothing like them. So uh, I'm sitting there and I, I realize I can have chili without beans. And I was like, okay, that's perfect. And then, hey, how, how much is in a quarter cup of chopped uh, chopped onion? Well, that, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I was like, cool, so I can have it? And she's like, yeah. So I dumped those on. And then I sprayed it all down with mustard and mixed it all up and, and ate my hot dogs with chili and mustard tasting just like Coney dogs. And I was so happy. I was just like, I thought this was gone forever. So instead of, I didn't have the bread now, but I had everything else. And instead of going, well, this really sucks because I can't have the bun, you know. I'm going to screw the bun. The good stuff's in the bowl. You know, and I'm eating it, and, and it tasted good, and and um, I had a nice salad with it, and filled myself stupid. I mean, I sit here, I'm going to eat too much. But it was, I ate too much, I'm full, not over full, but I'm full, and I still have energy. I'm not full and lethargic, which is from the carbs, I found out. Um... The buns that you're eating are loaded with carbs, and these these high manufactured, high, you know, stuff that you buy. 
there's so much sugar and it's not even funny. And we had that conversation too. There, uh, once you start looking at your labels, like, you know, the little nutrition facts on the back of the bottle and everything, once you start paying attention to that, some of this stuff's really scary. And I didn't realize I was eating and drinking as much sugar as I actually was. And I was just like, oh my god. I'm, I'm drinking how much sugar? I'm eating how much corn syrup? And it's in everything. It's literally in everything. Unless you get something that's absolutely sugar free. Um, so, so this is, uh, you know, it was kind of a shock. So I'm, I'm happy with the results that I'm getting. I knew it was going to be a slow uptake. And it's going to be a while before I see physically anything that happens. At least I thought so. And then the whole wedding ring thing, you know, flies off every time in my hand. So I'm not going to complain. I'm going to, I'm, I'm actually going to say I'm thrilled with the results that I'm getting so far. Um, I'm thrilled with the changes in my, my mental clarity. I'm thrilled with the fact that I'm more of a positive person than I am negative. And I'm getting a message from Amy, so give me like two seconds. Um... Okay, so so I had to uh, I had to write her real quick. She's out there. She's getting ready to get her bait to go fishing. Yay! I, I can't wait. Um, this time of year, it's like Park Central up here, and you use like these tiny little grass shrimp, and they're they're gnarly little suckers, boy. They'll poke a hole right in your finger if you're not careful. But man, the perch love them. So anyway, sorry that that took as long as it did. So. I'm going to focus, Chesapeake Outdoors, I'm going to, there's a plug for you Chesapeake Outdoors, thanks for the good tackle, um, I, that's my local tackle and bait shop, and they have everything, they have archery supplies, muzzle loading supplies, fishing tackle, crabbing bait, fish bait, you name it, they've got it, so. If you're ever in my area, there you go. Um, and I, so I'm focusing more on what's changing now instead of what I would like to change. What's going to happen is going to happen, and I'm not, I, I, I can control it, but I can't, you know. So it's going to come off the way it comes off. It's going to be, I'm either going to lose it or I'm going to gain it or, you know. And that's what I'm going to focus on for a while. <laughs> are the changes, whether they be subtle changes or whether they be big changes. So that's where we're going to sit with it. I am extremely thrilled with the results that I'm getting. I, I'm extremely thrilled with the way it's making me feel. So I'm going to keep at it. Um, I suggest anybody that's going to try to do it, you can, you can do it one or you can start it one of two ways. I started kind of weaning myself into it over a month ago, well over a month ago, I guess, probably a month and a half ago. Um, and I started kind of, I slowly started eating more meat and less carbs. I didn't cut them out yet, you know, I was still having my milk at night and all that. Cashew milk, by the way, the vanilla cashew milk is phenomenal. Um, the regular, not so much. The vanilla, spot on. Um... So I started weaning myself off of the carbs and everything slowly. And then just one day, I was like, I, I looked at Amy and I said, tomorrow we're going to start. And she goes, what? I said, yeah, tomorrow we're going to start. Which brings me to why I'm on YouTube. Um, she she recorded her journey 
A little bit. I, well, I mean, she posted a lot and stuff like that, but she didn't vlog. She didn't take a lot of pictures of herself and stuff like that. The reason I'm doing the YouTube videos is because I want to document it day by day. And at the end of all this, uh, one, I want to get good at editing. And two, I want to edit together a, a daily timeline of how I started and how I finish at the end of the year. Uh, and just to see the actual difference that I want to see. Or that I can see, rather. And, and it's going to give all you guys a visual, too, of where I started and where I finished. Now, 365, I'm 20 days into it. So, 365 days is a long ways away yet. But, I feel confident enough that I'm going to make it. And if I can make it without messing up once, fat chance! But if I can make it without messing up once, I'll be thrilled. I don't see that one happening. Um, here lately, I've been craving bread. I actually had to make my kids go out of the room. They were eating their lunches the other day. And I, I saw the bread, and I tasted it in my mouth, and I could smell it. And I was like, I, I really felt like a drug addict looking for that last hit. I, I know that's horrible to compare it to, but at the same time, that's what it felt like. I mean, I, I, had, I told them they had to leave the room, or else I was going to eat their dinner roll. And I don't want to do that. Not yet, anyway. Um, eventually, am I going to take a day where I go, all right, I'm taking a break day. I want a slice of pizza, a real pizza. Yes, I probably will. I probably. And then I'm going to feel like total shit um, for probably the entire next day. And I realize that, and I understand that. But that I, I'm also finding in this, you have to be really strong to avoid that kind of stuff, like you got to prepare yourself mentally to avoid that, which is fine, but there's going to be a breaking point eventually where I just go, I don't care, I'm eating it. And once that happens, I hope I feel like crap the next day, because it will deter me from doing it again, but I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon, but I'm sure it will happen. So... I'm, I'm already upset with myself even thinking that, which is really weird for me. Because I'm going, you idiot, why are you even talking about this? But, it, you know, the reality of it is we're only human, and we can only do what we can do. So, am I looking forward to that day? Kind of, but kind of not. Um, but is it going to deter me from continuing to do this? No, it's not. I've already seen results. Small might they be yet, but it's still a result, and it's working. So, guys, I I can't say enough about it. If it makes me feel like this, and let me tell you, there for a while I was a miserable, miserable person. Um, this is really cool, you know. I'm I'm real happy with this. So, with that being said. I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for today. Um, I got a call from my son real quick. Zane! You want to get out of here and work the camera? Sorry, so, game. so I'm going to wrap this, um, wrap this video up. And uh, I'm going to go live tonight. By the way, I'm going to live stream at about 5, I think. 5-ish, maybe. Might be a little later. If it is, I'll let you guys know. Um, by, you know, not being there. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to go at, at 5. Um, it's not going to be long unless you guys have a lot of questions and stuff. Other than that, I'm just going to do a quick on and off. Um, and I am going to, if I go fishing tonight, I'll take you guys with me. And that will be tomorrow's video. So, I know I promised you guys a cook video today. I'm not going to do the cook video today because, well, quite frankly, I'm not having Escar go for dinner tonight. I'm having something else. Me and Amy decided she was kind of the deciding factor on what we were having. So, I'm going to handle that and we'll probably do the Escar go tomorrow, maybe in a cook video. I don't know. <coughs> I still might do it today. I haven't decided. Once I do it, I'll pop it up. But all that being um, said and done, 
I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, get happy, get healthy, get healthy, get happy, whichever way I normally do it. And I'll see you guys later.